Another top story we're following tonight, the Johnson City Police Department now has body cameras. And the agency got six of them specifically to document evidence during drug investigations and when serving search and arrest warrants. Nate Morbido found out the move will help Johnson City test out the hotly debated technology before making a decision about whether to buy some for patrol officers. Johnson City's decision to move forward with a small body camera program comes at a time when the public overwhelmingly is saying yes to the technology, while some departments, at least for now, are still saying no. Irwin, one of the smallest agencies in our region, was one of the first police departments in our area to start using body cameras last year. Now the largest police department is on board on a small scale. In recent months, Johnson City bought a handful of body cameras for its special investigation squad at a cost of around $7,600. So that's how that one works. Although the main reason is to document drug evidence, the chief says the cameras will serve another purpose. We're trying to get this research done on the front end for our agency and see how it's going to play out for us as we go forward. Some agencies. Mark Soroy says there are challenges like cost, privacy concerns, storage, and how to handle public records requests. But at the same time, he believes the many benefits, including accountability, improved community trust, and protection of officers from unfounded complaints, are worth testing them out. Why wouldn't you move in that direction and at least explore it instead of just saying, well, there's too many challenges. Well, the challenges are going to fall away after a while. A recent Tennessee Coalition for Open Government poll found 9 out of 10 Tennesseans think police should be required to wear body cameras. The public has a right to have accountability for their law enforcement. That group also thinks the public should have access to the video when it records citizens getting hurt or killed by officers. It is clear that Tennesseans believe, according to this poll, that Police should not have the sole discretion on whether or not to release body camera footage, and that's what the law is now. The cameras are so new that there is still plenty to debate and research. But one day, the chief thinks they'll be on every officer in every department. Maybe it's going to be a few at a time uh, moving forward, and then, you know, at some point, and I can't make a commitment right now, but at some point, um, everybody's got one. While his agency weighs the pros and cons long term, this is a first step. Nate Morabito, News Channel 11, in your corner. Bristol, Tennessee police say they are moving closer to buying body cameras while Kingsport has not made a decision yet. The State Advisory Committee on Open Government held its first meeting to study the issue further just today.